All right, long overdue. Look what I got. I have a brand new belt for that. Now it's time to get that on there. I let this go a little bit too long. I should have finished it last fall, but it kept running out of money. So anyway, it's now it's costing me money because I had to buy a $42 belt. But anyway, let's dig her out, put her on, and see what we can do. Okay, let's dig her out. Okay, she's no worse for wear. Let's dig the leaves out of the tracks. Had some old belts there that didn't fit off somebody else's lawnmower. So we're gonna change oil and get this dry belt on there. Take it for a spin. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is kind of lay the old belt beside the new one, and the new one's different color. Maybe someone can enlighten me why enlighten me on why, but I think it's better quality. Alright, we'll get her over there and flip over, see if we can get her on. Seems to be the right length. Now I did have a pair of skis on it, or for it, I was going to put on this winter, but I never got around to making that video. Um, I apologize to everybody, everything's just gotten hectic here, the kids and the horses and stuff, so anyway, let's get the belt on there. Okay, since I had the battery box removed out of this, um, it makes it really easy to get the belt off. You can see how much I was lacking last year. Anyway, let's get the the real belt on it. Ouch. Okay, while well, I'm under here, I'm going to check all my pulleys. To make sure I haven't seized up because that happened on my other lawn tractor. I get the right camera angle here. I'm just going to give them a spin while I'm in here and make sure everything is functional before I rip this belt out of there. Um, I'm going to put the camera down. As you can see, the front one there, you have to pry it around here. You should really take this off. It's only two bolts. You should be able to get the belt out of there. Okay, I've got it all out. It needs to you either take the shifter off that little keyway right there or you can pull your belt up through the shifter hole and put it on the other side because it needs to uh, get around the shifter. So I've opted just to cheat a little here. Let's get it around the other side of that like so. Okay, let's put the new one in. Okay, I'm not going to go through each lawn, how to put this belt on because each lawnmower is going to be different, but I opted to put my back on last. What I'm going to do is just pry those things around. And without the battery box in there, it's pretty easy. Make sure you get your clutch pushed down. Okay, after about an hour of work, I, for some reason, had the same belt, but I had to change the location of my uh, idler pulley from right here to back there. For some reason the belt was too tight and uh, I couldn't get the fit. I don't know why. It was the same belt that was on it. I'm thinking maybe my idler pulley. I might have changed that years ago. But anyway, I moved it from right here up at the top to the back. So I'd have enough slack when I let go of the clutch. Yeah, it's the first start of the season. It's not running too good. It has some electrical connection issues. Oh, you can see I put a little bit too much oil in it smoking a little bit. We'll get rid of the mosquitoes that way. Well, let's see how do I put in gear. Might not be enough tension on them. See what's wrong with part of my electrical issue? The motor's not making contact. You can see it moving around there. It needs to be tightened down.
I found one thing out, it doesn't work good when the track gets wet and it's loose. Two, I lost my hammer <laughs> in this mud somewhere. Three, I just ran it out of fuel. I only put a splash in there to see what... <laughs> oh well, at least it's not sitting in the water. <laughs> so we learned a few things. The belt doesn't go good. I gotta move my tensioner up front so it's tighter, tighten the tracks at the back. Other than that, it was pretty fast. Woo! To be continued another night. I'm tired, I've been working on it for a couple hours. Got to tow it back to the house, tighten the belt up, drive belt up, tighten the tracks up. I might even put cleats on it so the tires have something to bite into. Okay guys, wasn't much of a 200 video, but there you go.